Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to deploy a Visual Studio 2015 web application using web deploy method. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First, we will see the prerequisites of web deploy method. The first one is you must have a Visual Studio 2015 application on your system. If you don't have, don't worry. You can download it from the following URL. The second one is you must have created at least one web application. Let's see how to deploy a Visual Studio 2015 web application using a web deploy method. First of all, you will have to launch a Visual Studio 2015 on your local system. Please be informed that here we have used Windows 8 operating system as a demo. To open the Visual Studio, you have to click on the Windows button located on the status bar. After then go to the search option and click on it. Once you click on it, a search box will be opened. Type Visual Studio and press Enter. You will see the Visual Studio which you have installed on your local system. Select the Visual Studio 2015 and click on it. It will take a few minutes to open it. Congratulations! Visual Studio window is open. If you haven't created any project or web application, you need to create it first. Click on the new project link to create it. If you have already created it then you need to open it. To open a web application that you have created, go to the file menu located on the menu bar and click on it. After then click on the open option. Select the project or solution option and click on it. Once you click on it, one window will be opened. Here, you will see the applications folders. Select the desired application folder and click on it. Here, we have selected folder web application 1 as an example. Select the web application file. It will be in .sln format. After then click on the open option to open it. Once you click on it, the web application window will be open. Now, we will change the configuration settings of the web application to release mode. Before that, we will see the different modes offered by Visual Studio and its variation. Visual Studio offers two modes. First, one is debug mode. And the second one is release mode. Let's see its variation. First one is debug configuration is compiled with full symbolic debug information with no optimization. Whereas release configuration does not have symbolic debug information and is fully optimized. Second one is debug configuration supports the debugging of applications. And the release configuration builds a version of the web application which is ready to be deployed on a server. Let's come to video. To change the configuration setting of the web application, go to the build menu located on the menu bar and click on it. After then click on the configuration manager option. Once you click on it, it will open a configuration manager window. In the active solution configuration option, select the mode option from the drop down list. Here we have selected release mode as an example. Click on the close option to close the window. Now, go to the solution explorer located on the right side of the screen and select the application which you want to deploy. Here we have selected web application 1 as an example. 
Right-click on the web application which you have selected and click on the Publish option. Once you click on it, it will open one window with the name Publish Web. In the Select a Publish Target option, select the Custom option. Once you click on it, one dialog box will be opened with the name New Custom Profile. Enter your desired name in the profile name. Here we have used Demo as an example. After then click on the OK button to save it. In the Publish Method option, select the Web Deploy method from the drop-down list. In the Server field, you need to specify the Web Deploy Service URL. Here we have used this URL as an example. In the Site Name field, specify the name of your website. Here, we have used dmoviepstest.com as an example. In the Username option, specify the username who has necessary permissions such as IIS Manager permissions on the web server for web deployment. Here, we have used the username dmoviepstest as an example. In the Password field, specify the password of that username which you have mentioned in the Username field. If you want to save your credentials for future use, check the Save Password checkbox. In the Destination URL field, specify the fully qualified domain name FQDN of your website along with HTTP or HTTPS. Here we have used HTTP colon slash slash dmoviepstest.com as an example. Once all necessary details are specified, click on the Validate Connection button to verify the connection. Check Allow Untrusted Certificate checkbox when it prompts. You will see a green tick mark if the connection is established successfully. Click on the Publish button to start deploying your web application to the server. That's it. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We seen how to deploy Visual Studio 2015 application using web deploy method. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on the subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.